video is brought to you by G2A.com for cheap games, MSP and PSN codes. Hey guys, how's it going? Master Bucks here. Welcome to another episode of the Newcastle United career mode in FIFA 16. And today we're going to get through the majority of the remaining Premier League matches that we have, plus an FA Cup semi-final. The first game that we have to play is against Cardiff. That is away, although I am thinking or considering simming it. I'm not too sure. I definitely want to make sure that I get as many points in the Premier League in this episode as possible. But at the same time, we do have that game against Liverpool in the semi-final of the FA Cup. We are going all the way to Wembley for the semi-final. That would be great. And I cannot wait to hopefully play that game and hopefully have a good game and go through to the final and try to defend our FA Cup title. That would be sensational. But we are obviously going for another title. We are top of the Premier League right now with Arsenal chasing us just a point behind us and have a look at who we play on the final day. This could be a hell of an exciting game. It could be an amazing final. It could be an amazing fi uh, an amazing finish. But this is what I'm thinking. I sim this game against Cardiff, recently promoted team. You wouldn't expect them to be any world beaters, so I reckon that can be comfortable even though it is away. I play a semi-final in the FA Cup for the first game. I then sim this West Bromwich Albion game play Tottenham at home, and then finally, we have a game against Everton. Unless the FA Cup final finds its way in between that Everton game somehow, I don't think it will. I think they will be the five games that we will get through in this one episode. It also probably means as well that we're only two episodes away from finishing this season. So, we are going to skip this. We immediately got a goal within 10 minutes, and it's a 3-0 win, pretty comfortable. No no goals conceded, clean sheet, no injuries, just a yellow card to Darryl Yanmat. They picked up the injury, but yeah, 3-0 victory, pretty simple. Got a little bit of play training to do right now. We've got Rolando Ahrens potentially going up in his dribbling if he gets a good result. He goes up in his ball control instead. He's absolutely becoming a freak, and Lachelle's... Jamal Lachelle goes up to a 73. I'm definitely trying to train him up so that way he's a lot higher rated and I have a bit more of an excuse to play him because I do want him to uh, get games and all that. But now we have a... Oh, interestingly enough, we've got a transfer request. I might take a look at this from Emo Ezekiel. Definitely a player that at the start I thought could have been a pretty good buy. We didn't have too many decent strikers at that time. However, now we've got Armstrong back from loan. We've got Ezekiel now. We also went ahead and bought Dumia because Dumia was got by Newcastle in real life. So now we've just got an abundance of strikers and he hasn't gotten any games. I, I kind of feel sorry for him. Thing is though, I still think he could be decent and could be useful. So I don't really want to sell him. I, I, I do want to get rid of at least one of my strikers at some point next season. Probably Mitrovic, to be honest, because he's been the one that, even though he's high potential, hasn't really been all too great for me. But we're going to forget about that for now. We're focusing on this. The semi-final in the FA Cup against Liverpool. We're hoping to defend our FA Cup title. I'm throwing the best team that I have out there all fully fit, 100% stamina for every single player because our games today are all very well spaced out, about a week or so, which is sensational, but that's it. That's the team I'm throwing out there. Come on, let's get this FA Cup final. Here we go. Musa Suzoko played one of the most amazing games in the previous episode, and I want him to step up and be a leader in a big way here. But the last time that we played Liverpool was only last episode. We, we actually lost 2-1, and now we're playing arguably a much easier side than this. They're really going for it in the FA Cup. They play a much easier team in the Premier League, but now that we're in the later stages of this FA Cup uh, run, of course, they play a pretty decent team and arguably their best team. And why are we looking at this bloke's chest? They're going to get it kicked off. One more game to go until the FA Cup final. Let's do it. My defense, honestly, today is oh, not being good. It's been really shat. Like, they've had a majority of the ball, but I just can't seem to tackle people. I'm not really getting in the right areas, not getting in front. I'm containing. I'm holding down A. I'm trying to stop them from advancing, but I just can't take the ball off them right about now. It's becoming a bit frustrating. They just keep holding that possession, keep shooting. He hits the post. He finally gets a shot off. I can't stop that shot. Eventually, that's going to go in, and that's a foul. I'm just trying to get in front and block these shots, but they're just not happening. They keep getting all these shots off. I just cannot take the ball off them right now. They move it too well. They're moving it way too fucking well. That's a good cross, but too easy and too close to Krull. Come on. Played that pretty well, actually. Now look at Austin. He's still got a man closing him down, but I'm looking at Suzuko, hoping for he makes a good run. He doesn't, but Milner still has it. Or should I say Austin? Still has it. It's a good cross. One more, please. No, fuck, that wasn't high enough, and he's put it out for a corner. All right, first real chance right now. Come on. Keep it in, Aarons. Oh, my God, that was close. Come on. Aarons, I nearly went back to you, but instead I'm going to go to Mangala. And again, another pass. Zoko out this way. Tilly Man's going to hit from tight angle, but it's still a good save by fucking Mignolet. Oh, my dear. Oh, dearing me. That is not good. Jesus Christ, what happened to the defender that I was controlling? He just didn't... He just like almost, oh, I just think he stopped. Like, what happened there? I just I just stopped going with him. It switched, and he just went fucking nowhere. And the header was there, comes in off the post. Look at this. Look at that. Absolutely. Go, chase, and keep on running. Perez, 
And in the middle. Now for Aaron. I've got to be patient. I needed one out to make a good run. He sort of has. Bangs. Good shot. It's hit the post. Oh, we hit the post. But it, cousin, it can't go in for us, though. Oh, it's actually just a brilliant save by Minulay. Fuck this dude. Why is he so good? I'm almost convinced now that this does not deserve to go 1-0 right now. But that's going to be too close to Minulay. Punched away. Fucking Minulay. He's been so good. Not just in this game, but in the previous game, in the episode in the previous game, he made a bunch of great saves. Why has Minulay been Liverpool's MVP? This does not make fucking any sense. Liverpool's worst players are doing the fucking best against us. The possession wasn't as bad as what I thought it was at the end of halftime. It was about 53% Liverpool's way, but that's only because we were really getting it together, which is why I'm not too shattered. I am feeling good on the ball at the moment. I do still think it's possible for us, although that's not really where I wanted you to put that ball. Perez, this is big. He's missed the fucking sitter. Oh, Perez. One out of go. Suzuko, go. Someone get up, please, anyone. Decent pass. Again, Perez. Another pass, good. Players are starting to find. We're starting. Oh, oh, I knew he was going to pass there. Come on. Jose, no. Austin Bang. Austin shut. Save. Tight angle. Oh, Suzuko. Couldn't keep it down. And again, Suzuko. I'll whip in across with Aaron. It's a decent ball there. Is it a penalty? No, it's not. It's cleared by Moreno. Please win this header, anyone. He does, but no one's really there. No one came. No one came any fucking close. I think that's it. I think this could be it. Three minutes to stop his time. Benteke's going on a run. Aaron's is trying to chase. Aaron's is taking it off of him brilliantly, but we're going to run out of time. Get it up. Quick, go. Walker, run. Bam. What a fucking dirty cunt. That's not even a foul. That's caught. They've caught for time. That's not even a foul. They've just called for time. He's just gone and taken my legs out, and they've just called for time anyway. Well, that's it. Simon Minulay, you are a fucking G. You really are something else. You're a fucking sensational goalkeeper in this game. Too bad you're fucking useless in real life. But no, EA Sports just haven't done a good enough job of capturing your fucking lack of ability in this game. Because he pulled off about 10 saves in this game. Not even unbelievable saves. Uh, we could have been a little bit better attacking, obviously. We can always be a little bit better. But I felt like to have not scored a goal in this game is a bit criminal. But... That's that. We're not going to be defending AFA Cup title. It's only Premier League games from here on out. Simon Mignolet was man of the match with a 9.1 rating and 8 total saves. I felt like he weighed main, way fucking more than that. We had our chances. Like, oh, Suzuko had a real good chance from a tight angle, but he couldn't keep it down. Blew it. That was it. It just wasn't. Nah, it just didn't happen. We didn't take our chances. And the chances that we did do pretty decently with, Mignolet just said no. Fucking just rejected us. So it comes down to either Chelsea or Crystal Palace. Who is going to go through to play Liverpool in the final? Don't fucking care. FA Cup, Tim Pot Cup, don't care. Don't, don't, never fucking wanted to win it anyway. Yeah, mate, we're totally focusing on the league. Always have been. But take a look at this, though. 33 games left. Arsenal, I think they were 67 points. I think they drew their last game because now we're three points ahead. A whole three points ahead right about now with five games left to play. So our, our gap at the top has gotten bigger since. This is incredible. We could do this. We really, really could do this. It's the only competition that we have to focus on. Europa League, we got knocked out immediately after. Immediately after we, you know, uh, got out of the group stage. And now FA Cup, we've been knocked out of. But the Premier League with five or five, yeah, with five games left to go, this is it. This is another game that we're probably going to sim. We're going to be playing Everton and Tottenham. But first, we've got to sim this game against West Brom. In their last three games, they've won one, drawn one, and lost one. But this is going to be another big game. If we lose this and Arsenal win, then they, they close on the gap. It's a 1-1. One, one. It's a draw. They got a penalty within about 15 minutes left to go. So it finishes 1-1. One, one. Jetro Willem's got a red card, which means he'll, not, he'll be ineligible to play in the next game. And Arsenal did win their game. So that's that then. The gap has now been closed back down to only one point. More player training. Armstrong, so close to an 86. Aaron, so close to an 80. Can't wait to get him up to that 80 rating. And Lachelle's, he gets closer to a 74. And now that I know I'm not playing in an FA Cup final, we have, what, four games left to go? I'm probably going to play the Tottenham game. Then I'm going to play this Everton game. And maybe, or maybe I might just, I don't know. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm probably going to play the Tottenham game, play the Everton game. I might even... It's risky, but I might even sim, depending on how we are or where we are, I might even sim this West Ham game and make this As and make this Arsenal game a game all in itself if it is going to come down to deciding the league. I might just make that a one-off episode. And even though it's unlikely, let's say Arsenal and Chelsea and all those other teams below us, let's say we get on a run, we win a couple of games, and then they just totally drop off and the league's almost decided before the Arsenal game, we might just sim it because it'll be useless. There'll be no point because the league would have already been won. Or... 
we could absolutely collapse and Arsenal could get away. That would be a disaster. But all these things are still possible. We will find out how it goes. We'll play this Tottenham game. We'll play the Everton game. We'll see how we go. Let's go. From one godlike keeper to another, we now face Hugo Lloris, I think, in goal. And I also saw, no, it's going to be Michel Vaughan, but still. We have got Alexandra Lacazette and a 4-2-3-1 formation ahead of us. This is going to be a nightmare. And Andros Townsend, still playing for Spurs. Obviously, we're getting him on a pre-contract. But for now, he's still playing at Tottenham and he's starting in this game. But you, why? How could you do this? I was going to buy you one day, Lacazette. I was going to fucking do it. I really was. I wasn't maybe going to do it this season. But how could you treat me like this? How could you go to another Premier League club? I can't believe it. You'd be my best man at my wedding if it ever happened. Oh, I don't know about that. I'm not sure about the power. It's over the wall. Michel Vorm tapping in. No, it's cleared. It's not even going out for a corner. Yes, up the middle. Oh, that was so close to being that chance, but it's just a little bit off. Now we're on a counter-attack. And by now, him. he takes too heavy a touch. Mason closes him down. This is killing me right now. We've had a lot of great attacks. There's like Lacazette. It's a shot straight at Tim Krull. Austin, you need to go. You need to run. He's going to close me down. I know that. There's that space for Austin. Unfortunately, he's also... Gonna close down, but that is a fake shot that's worked brilliantly in the middle. I hate that run that was made by Sissoko, but in the end it's okay! Because he blasted in the top left-hand corner. All that space was there. Well worked between the two, and Sissoko finishes it. Look at Sissoko's run. It's not a great angle, but why is he running toward Austin? Like, why is he running toward Austin? Run to the space, man. I've got to force you to go to where you need to be, but it's okay, because in the end, he smashes it right in the corner. Suzoko's finishing. His shooting, as he's been able to show in the previous episode, and in this one now, has been absolutely sensational. That is the worst piece of defense. Oh my god, Lacazette! What is going on with you right now? Maybe... I, I refuse to believe that you're not a good buy anymore in career mode. I just refuse it. So, uh, it, Tottenham's just not a good fit for you, mate. I've got one man coming. Close down. Cross. Far post. Decent. Head up. Bang. There it is. Oh, it was going in. Vorm just got up. He's not the tallest goalkeeper, but he was tall enough to grab that one. Oh, my God. Referee calls for time. Oh, that was bad. Lacazette, we let him through way too many times. He has absolutely been awful. A clinical Lacazette, a Leeds United Lacazette, we'd be 3-0 fucking down right now. So this is going to make it exciting. Although Deli Alley is probably lower rated than Dembele in this game. Oh my god, it's been off both posts by Deli Alley and missed. And now Austin's on it, but he's got fucking no one to pass to. Switch. Switch, he's got to get there. Come on, there we go. Oh, over the top. Over the top. It's a nice ball. It's got to hit him. And it does. Tilly Mans. Fake shot. Cross. Header. It's 2-0. The keeper didn't even look at. He didn't even bother going for it. It's 2-0. This game is wrapped up. That's another three points. Spurs have had all the possession in this game. They've really been the guys that have been, not except not exactly bossing it, because in, after all their possession, they've really not done an awful lot with it. They had one attempt with Dyer that was so unfortunate not to have gone in. But now, look at them. They're a goal down again. They could get a goal back and make it interesting, and they could find a point back. Guys, we're not closing them down. We're leaving players. There's that goal. That's exactly what I, mm, that's what I thought would happen. I didn't want to go, mm, well, that's not good. And now they have made it interesting. Well, let's go ultra defensive. We're inviting the pressure this time, but at least we're going to have the numbers back. At least that surely won't be able to let them just fucking... Oh, dear. It's okay, though. We've still got it. Come on, get there. Oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. Fuck, I... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I ruined that. Why did I cross that? Why didn't it go along? Why didn't I make that go along the ground? I have no idea. But I crossed into Perez, who then headed it. I thought I completely wasted it. It's still 3-1. That's hilarious. Even the fact that Trippier just, like, was sleeping, led Austin, and, it, and even that cross went so far deeper than I thought it would. And the diving header, bang. How doesn't he stop it? Oh, he might have actually got a little touch on it, you know. And that is going to be it. That is the full-time whistle. 3-1 in the end. Oh boy, we were leading, we were, oh, in that in that first half, we were absolutely killing it. We were doing so well, it was really, really good. Second half, they just had all the possession, we could barely do anything with it. But the one attack, or the two attacks that we had, we were pretty decent, got a goal, and then got a, again, then got a goal right toward the end after conceding, despite, <laughs> I don't even know how, because we totally fucked it up, but we got the goal in the end. It's just, it was our day today.
Lacazette was awful today as well. He had a horrible match, an absolutely terrible match. He had so many chances to score, and yet he didn't do anything with it. Sometimes he was through on goal and didn't even shoot. It's insane. But we uh, we did win the game, thank God, because we had to. We needed to if we wanted to stay top. Because look at this now. Three games left. Arsenal still just a point behind. And another pretty decent break until our next game against Everton. We're quite fortunate. We really are getting very fortunate. And since, you know, again, it's just been another great break, another week-long break. We've been able to rest all of our players and get them back up to full fitness. I'm just going to do it again. The exact same team that we've been playing this whole time. But Jetro Willems now comes back from his injury. Only a few more games left to go. We just have to keep persisting, hope that maybe Arsenal slip up. Because if it is going to come down to the final game, it's going to be in our hands. We've got to keep going. Come on, let's go. The Everton team today again lining up with a 4-2-3-1 formation. Their striker, El Rodriguez, I'm trying to think, not too sure. Defense looks pretty usual, and the whole team really looks quite uh, normal, apart from, of course, Stephen Naismith, who's now gone, and a couple of others here and there, that Rodriguez fellow. I'm not sure if he's an actual Everton player, or and he's just shot up, or if he's a recent transfer, but still, the exact same team for us. So Everton going to get this game kicked off. Final game of the episode, potentially. Here we go. Oh my god, Rodriguez, he's played a three. Oh my god, there it is. McCarthy, bang. He squares it up. Oh my god, they tried to get sweaty and they fucked it up. They did so well, moved the ball brilliantly, and then fucked it up. M Morales! <laughs> That's, uh, you know what, a little sympathy from me. Not only because I'm the guy that would have conceded, but at this exact same time, it's just glorious when a brilliant sweaty move is ruined because just because they tried to get sweaty. That's funny. But I tell you what, Aaron's is making a good run. Cross, far post. Why are you fucking... Mm. Calm down, calm down. Nah, it's blocked. Why did he fucking like have to stop and try to take it off one foot? He was making a great run at the far post and he just fucking stopped. He paused to get the cross in. Tackle. Oh, for fuck's sake. Paints just keeps the ball like it's nothing. Still runs with it. Tries to set him up. He does. That's a bat. What a banging effort. What a fucking goal. I tackled Baines in the lead up to that. And how he kept the ball, I have no fucking idea. And that's just an unbelievable strike by Stephen Naismith. And yes, that is a goal. We know. I'm a bit concerned now because uh, depending on how this game goes and depending on whether or not I can pick up another one, whatever happens in the Arsenal game is basically going to decide whether or not we still keep the top of the Premier League spot. And I just, oh, I'll be very annoyed. He's kept it. He's kept it. Here we go. This is big. But Charlie Olsen's going to get caught. I'm waiting for the right ball to be played. There it is. Come on. Aaron's turn around. Have a shot, Aaron's bang. It's a good save, but it's put in. It's put in just. Ayose Perry's got a ball onto it. He just got his foot onto it. I thought he would go to head that, but no, he just got a foot onto it. Oh my. I, I waited for so long to play the ball through with Aaron's. In the end, it was a tight angle. Shot it, saved, but Perez, he can't stop that one, Tim Howard. I really don't know why he didn't just lean his head in and head that. Why did he have to kick it, but fuck it. He put the ball in the net. That's what matters, and it's rattled evident. Have a look at that pass. Oh my god, that was so simple. I just subbed Steven Taylor on. Don't tell me that he was his direct opponent that he lost the header to. I need to see this. I need to see what happened here. Oh my god, Steven Taylor. What happened? Steven Taylor just got subbed on for Mbemba who got a yellow card. He, this, the first thing he does in the game is lose a header. Steven fucking Taylor, I, I just cannot believe it. I took off Mbemba because he was on a yellow card. I don't fucking believe it. Why would I do that? Why the hell would I do that if I knew I was going to bring on Steven fucking Taylor? Look at that. Austin still got it. Still waiting for someone. Fucking anyone to get open. There's one. What is that touch from Perez? Yes. Come on. One out of I'm going to keep running. I'm going to keep running. I'm going to hope someone gets open. No one. Ball squeezed through. Well by one out. Oh, by Willems. Austin. He's put it wide. No fucking way. This, nah, this won't happen. Come on. Go back to Shelby. Up the middle quick. Turns around. One out of him. Still holding. Still holding. One out of him. What was that? It's... What is this? What the fuck is this? Tim Howard has made six saves. Tim Crawl has made absolutely none. This is incredible. I do not believe this is the result we're about to get. This is going to be it. This could fuck us big time. Uh, you know, I'm going to put my hand up. I'm fucking finished. I may as well put the controller down. <sighs> Good save by Crawl. This is it, though. This is it. We just don't... We simply don't have the time. This man has had a big fucking influence in the results, Stephen Taylor. Subbed on, and the first thing he's got to do is deal with a cross. 
They can't... They've, he's got to deal with the cross. He can't fucking do it. Loses the header. 2-1 the score. That's it. But then, Jenny Wijnaldum has gone straight through. He's gotten absolutely super fortunate. His defender's fucked up. One-on-one. -on -one. What is that shot? He just passed it. How long do you need to hold down the button for to get a good shot off? I can't believe it. I feel fucking robbed after this game, after how many attempts and how many shots we've had. The domination. They've had a handful of shots gone up every now and again. I just cannot believe we've lost this game. A draw, I would have even been happy with. I feel like that would have been a fair result. But a fucking loss, no way. And it's come down to Steven Taylor and that unbelievable effort by Jenny Wijnaldum. I just don't fucking believe this. Well, guys, we're going to have to find out what the Arsenal game's gone and what the result is there. They're yet to play. If they draw, we've got to take a look at the table. Okay, we're, we're ahead of them on goal difference. We've actually got the best goal difference in the league, which is good. So, if Arsenal draw their game, that's... If they lose the game, great. It's exactly where it is. If they draw their game, then we're still on top on goal difference. That's it. So we need that to be the result. If they win, they will overtake us. I still fucking cannot believe that that is the score. I don't believe that Steven Taylor, who is probably arguably never going to play a fucking game ever again after that, I don't believe it. He says he wants to go. I give him a fucking game, and then what happens? He fucks... He just fucks me. We're going to advance. We're going to find out sooner or later whether or not Arsenal has won their game right now. What is it? Arsenal, you better believe it. They won their game. Of course they fucking did. Oh, no. This is not good. This is definitely... This is definitely not good. And because we've come to the end of the episode, guys, and we still have two games left to play, two games, I may as well just make the whole episode about the Arsenal match. I don't fucking, I, uh, I'm not, uh, I really hope I don't regret this, but I'm going to sim this game against West Ham. I feel, for some weird reason, I've got a weird positive vibe about this. For some weird reason, I feel like this is going to work for us. Please, for the love of God, West Brom, they've drawn, won, and drawn again. But this result, Noble just missed a penalty. Oh my God, Walker. Well, it's a 1-1 out of nowhere. I'm going to skip. I can't take this. It's a 2-1 win. Charlie Austin, there we go. It's a 2-1. That's what I thought would happen. Oh, dearie me. Okay. I just had a weird positive vibe. They fucking missed a penalty and I was like, oh my god, this is an awful decision. I skipped, I just got it out of the way, and that's it. A 2-1. But of course, have a look at the table. Arsenal have still continued their insane run. I'm almost going to go back and look at their last couple of results. But they've won again, they're on top, and the game, I didn't want this to be the case, but it's going to be the case. The final game is going to decide the league. First versus second, it's basically a final. Who wins the league? A draw is enough for Arsenal, a loss obviously is enough for Arsenal, but a win, that is the only thing that is going to separate us from the Premier League title. Can we take it from Arsenal's hands? Even if we had got the draw against Everton, we were never at any point winning against Everton. But even if we'd got the draw, I guess in the end, it really wouldn't have done. It really wouldn't have mattered. We'd been on 79 points and really that, it really wouldn't have mattered had we got the draw. We needed to have won that Everton game. And we, to be fair, it was going to be a long shot to even win that Everton game with the way things were going. We were in charge most of the time. We were getting plenty of shots and plenty of attacks in, but we just weren't scoring. Just for the sake of curiosity, I'm going back over Arsenal's last few games to see what the results are. Obviously, West Brom, they beat, uh, they beat West Brom 2-0. They beat Spurs 1-0. That would have been a very big game. They beat Crystal Palace 2-1. I'm just honestly wondering when their next loss is. They beat Cardiff City 2-1. We're still going. Come on. Keep going. Where is it? We've got Norwich a 1-1 draw. That's the last time that they didn't win. But this is it then, guys. We have one episode based around this whole one game and then wrapping up the entire season and going into season three. I can't wait. This is going to be an unbelievable experience. It's going to be devastating if we don't win, but only time will tell what the result's going to be. And I'm playing my absolute best team possible. They're all 100% fit, no injuries. We are ready for this. Let's go. Until next time, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. Please be sure to watch the next episode. And until then, have a good one. Bye-bye.